Welcome back guys. While I was busy working on a project, I stumbled upon a problem where the project required 33 volts DC from a 12 volt SLA battery source. Now I'll definitely use a DC to DC boost converter for this, but as you saw in my boost converter video, it takes 12 volts input and gives a minimum boosted output of 36.7 volts DC. Click on the i button if you haven't seen my boost converter video. Now we'll have to tinker with the circuit schematic of this boost converter. Then we'll modify its default circuit. Now I'll just quickly search the circuit schematic of this specific model. That is 05KJ. This is 150 watt DC to DC boost converter. Let's see. Yeah, this is the relevant circuit we need. In the circuit, this is the 10 kilo ohm trimmer for voltage preset in series with a 3.3k resistor. which goes into the voltage feedback pin of the IC. Now we'll have to find this fixed resistor in our boost converter and eliminate it. Also we'll have to replace the 10k trimmer by a 20k trimmer. This is the 10k trimmer and these are the three terminals of this trimmer. After this, the printed wire goes to this fixed resistor which we saw in the schematic. Then it finally goes into the voltage feedback pin of the IC. Let's have a look on the fixed resistor to find its value. It's coded as 14C. This is an EIA96 type of SMD resistor. Let's search and find out its value. I have given the link for this website down below. So the value of this resistor is 13.7 kilo ohms. So we will desolder the 13.7k resistor as well as 10 kilo ohms trimmer and put this 20k preset in that place. However, I would strongly recommend to use a 20k trimmer instead of preset to be precise. Now let's test the boost converter module. For testing, I am using my homemade variable power supply with essential features like overcurrent protection, short circuit protection and blah blah. Click on the i button to watch the project video of this power supply. This multimeter will display the boosted out DC voltage. 
this channel of power supply will display the input voltage that will be a constant 12 volts DC while this preset will be used to increase or decrease the output voltage. It's already giving us 40 volts DC. It can go as high as 50 volts. Let's reduce the voltage. Yeah, it goes as low as 11.5 volts. We succeeded in modifying the module to our need. Now I'll quickly set the voltage to 33 volts DC and wrap up this video. Perfect. So that's all for today guys, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get notified of my latest videos.